So today I want to show you how to make recycled earrings. So what you need is Mountain Dew, like um, soda bottle, scissors, and kanji symbols. Kanji symbols, or you could get any 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 patricia one and you could glue it I just did three different sizes then I cut it they're not really exactly the same size but it'll work then you're gonna put that there get some tape duct tape to be exact I can't find my starting point. Found it. And you're gonna wanna take some duct tape, cut a piece. Doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure it's big. Then get this. Oh shit. Get that and. Glue like that. We're doing this to so to to prevent a person to pre prevent you to hurting yourself because the edges and just bend it. Sorry about my nails. And then you're just gonna cut it, but leave some space, some a little bit of room. A little bit of room with the tape. That's for safety, that's why. And you're just gonna do this with the rest of the squares, and then we're gonna cut, we're gonna glue super glue some metals in it, and then we're gonna connect it. And I'll be right back. Hey guys, so the next thing you need is craft wire. I'm using gold. Super glue, no, hot glue, sorry, cutter, and a long nose flyer, pliers, and of course, I'm going to use shells and ear hooks. And what you're gonna do is get these, cut it into small pieces, and then make sure the kanji is facing the right way. And you're just gonna stick it right there and twist it to make sure it's secure. some more. Get the other piece. Oh, there's a lint. So I'm going to put two. See, I can't see right now because I don't have my glasses. I'll just take that out and I'll just put a new one. And you just roll it. It's really strong. You can press it if you want. You leave that, and I'm gonna let that dry. And then the last one. Careful with the hot glue, it's really hot. I got burned before because I'm clumsy. And I'm just gonna let that dry and I'll show you the next step. So, when you make the hook, the holes, it's really simple. All you have to do is get your long nose flyer and 
make a circle then make it flat so it won't the extra wire the excess wire won't hurt you and you just do that to the other side if this if the wire is too long make sure to cut it but you could double it if you want to like that like how I'm doubling it it doesn't really matter and that's how it looks and I'll show you how to add the shells and connect everything together the next clip making the hoop I did a mistake I made a mistake you shouldn't put a wire here at the biggest square because you don't want that it's gonna be in the end so you don't need to so if you did make sure to take it out you could just use your cutter to take it out it'll be fine so when you want to put the shell make sure to get the last piece you could do it in any order but I'm just doing the last piece right now because I've done the other ones and you're just gonna wanna make a hoop like that and then straight make sure to straight straighten your wire so it's not wobbly but it's really up to you because it's sort of abstract and then you're just gonna cut the last piece and connect it to the other piece and do the same thing and I'll be I'll show you the next step the middle piece came off so I had to re-glue it I'm just gonna make a hole and there's a lint no that's super glue Just pressing that part so it doesn't hurt anyone. And we're just we're just gonna put this wire into the other the middle wire the middle square hoop and then you're just gonna bend it so you can connect it together. Again it doesn't have to be straight because this is basically abstract earrings. And then you're gonna get your hoop, your hook. This one's already open, I opened it beforehand. And you're just gonna slide it in and close it. Sorry for the bad camera, guys. I don't have money to buy a new one. And that's how it look like. If you don't want anyone to see the this part, you could add stickers in the back. And I'll do that part. I'll if you this is the finished product. If you like it this way, then you don't have to do anything. But I'm gonna show you another part, so it could be extra pretty. And make sure to cut out the excess glue with your cutter so it looks professionally done. And I'll be right back and get more the stickers. So I went back and added another kanji on the, in the back because this earring wobbles a lot. Like when the wind hits it, it, it goes like it goes around and I want people to see both kanjis. I don't want them to think like it's just like you know it looks dumb so I suggest in the first step you should put two kanjis in the beginning and um, that's all I hope you like this tutorial and if you do this tutorial make sure to give me credit and I have a good day and um, see you next time